Hello everyone, it's Dead 51 here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm at Alton Park with the Janetta GT4 G55 car in the lovely Power Match lobby. As you can see by the arrows, these are the things I want to pay attention to today, as this is a little tutorial video on racing line braking points and accelerating points. I've been asked to do it by a couple of people now, uh, wanting to know why I'm a bit. Why I'm. I'm not the best at this game, I'll, I'll put that out straight away. I'm nowhere near the best. But I am consistent uh, and I do quite well in some, uh, as you may have seen in the championship races. So, we're going to start off at this point. As you can see on that little green bar where the green arrow was pointing, is the accelerator. On now, you can see the brake in the red. The little yellow one is the clutch in between. And then on the left hand side, the wiggly line is my steering input. So the more I turn that, the more the line goes up and down. So, as we head into this brake brake is on, hard on the brake, ease off the brake. It's right, the simple thing with this is, is to be smooth. The smoother you are, the quicker your lap will be. Making the corners as straight as possible as well. Every corner, you you, you have an entry point and an exit point. As, this is a good example of, well it's more a difficult corner, half on the throttle there. So we'll get down to this final corner on the track, we'll do a full lap and I'll Explore here a bit better. So, hard on the brakes. Making the corner as straight as possible. So, kissing the apex on the inside. So, the inside of the corner, where the curbs normally are, is the apex of the corner. You want to be kissing them. Just touching them with the inside wheels and coming off as straight as possible. So, into the first corner. Hard on the brakes, not fully on the brakes. Doing all the braking in a straight line. You don't want to be braking in a turn at the same time because it tends to end in disaster. Obviously, a little jam of brakes every now and again, you may get away with. So, again, keeping hugging this inside, now letting the car flow out wide, getting on the accelerator. Gives you that more space to breathe on the accelerator, down into another heavy braking zone. And you hear the wheel starting to lock up there. Now, if that does happen to you, lift off the brake, let the wheel roll again, and then slowly apply the brake again, and you, hopefully you'll get that slowing down pace without locking up because you lock up you've got no turning and you're, you're not really slowing down as much as what you need to be so as you see all the accelerating is done with no brakes in there it's, it, it's you, you want to be either on the brakes or on the accelerator you don't want to be crossing them over on them both because you, it's a waste of energy in the car and it's a waste of time so all the braking done there back on the accelerator Keep it close to that inside, let the car run out wide, gives you that more pace on the exit. A little wiggle, and all the steering put, you may have noticed, has been very smooth. So braking hard again, turning into corners, kissing the apex, letting the car run out wide, using all the track possible, and there you go. Simple as that. If you've enjoyed this little short tutorial, more for the beginners, not for you advanced racers, obviously, who are probably faster than me. Um, if you've enjoyed this little video, please remember to like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below. Maybe another little tutorial video will be coming along with possibly overtakes, defensive driving, attacking driving and stuff like that. So if you've enjoyed it, remember to give it a like, subscribe and comment like I just said a minute ago. I'm repeating myself now. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.